Good morning. Yesterday, a strong 5.9 aftershock rocked Haiti. Recording charted. We have received reports of some additional collapse of buildings and some injuries, but fortunately, no additional loss of life. Obviously, obviously, this was very distressing for the survivors of last week's earthquake. There are now approximately 40 search and rescue teams made up of more than 1,800 volunteers and approximately 175 dogs that continue to search the affected areas. We're not nine days out since the world came crashing down on Haiti, and in hours following the earthquake, the world seemed paralyzed and its attempts to get necessary aid into the areas where people desperately needed attention and help. Block roads and disrupted, disrupted communication made the response very, very challenging. But progress has been made. Are we satisfied? Absolutely not. We're definitely, though, encouraged by progress uh, and overcoming the challenges. Um, we know now that 35 countries have sent aid to Haiti. We've received many, many offers of help from institutions and, and, and individuals. We are coordinating and managing these requests while at the same time tracking the hospital needs, including the reconstruction, equipment, and uh, temporary staff needs. And so to that end, the PAHO-led health cluster is continuing to assess and collect information on pre-existing hospitals and health facilities. We're looking at not only the impact of the earthquake, but also on how well they are functioning in terms of, for example, referral systems and transportation and uh, triage of patients. Nationwide, we know of 213 pre-existing hospitals and health facilities in, ha in Haiti. One was destroyed, three were th severely damaged, and 13 sustained moderate damage. And eight did not uh, receive uh, significant damage at all. We are gathering, uh, uh, still gathering information, uh, more detailed information from the others. From these hospital assessments, we know that the priority needs include some staff, especially orthopedic surgeons and nurses, uh, more facilities for the post-surgical follow-up, better sanitation and management of medical waste, more mobile clinics to serve in the resettlement camps, and security for these mobile teams. There are 18 hospitals now functioning in the Port-au-Prince metropolitan area, and they are receiving substantial help from non-governmental organizations and the military. In addition, nine field hospitals have been uh, set up, and there are six more scheduled to arrive in the coming days, so much progress. We have reports that more than 300,000 people in some 280 spontaneous settlements, mainly in parks and open spaces. Haitian authorities estimate that at least one million people have been left homeless. The priority needs for these people in these new settlement areas are medical attention and the continuing needs of food and water. Haiti's central warehouse for medicines and medical supplies, the PROMES, uh, which is managed by PAHO, the Pan American Health Organization, WHO, is procuring more drugs and supplies to cope with these demands. It's receiving donations and trying to purchase most of its supplies in the Dominican Republic to ensure rapid uh, distribution. We know that flights en route to Haiti are carrying medicines and supplies that could treat up to 165,000 people for one month, plus drugs and equipment to treat more than 1,000 people with trauma injuries. Affected communities at increased risk of moderate and severe acute malnutrition, especially in vulnerable groups, such as young children, pregnant and lactating uh, women and older uh, uh, persons are a concern. The risk of malnutrition in newborns and infants can be increased by the lack of uh, support for breastfeeding. With water and sanitation systems disrupted, it becomes even more critical for mothers to rely on breastfeeding for infants rather than formula mixed 
with potentially contaminated water. So we are putting special uh, emphasis in this area of work and making it a high priority. Similar, similarly, reproductive health remains a major issue with concerns including the ensuring of safe deliveries uh, through access to basic and comprehensive emergency obstetrical care. I think I'll stop there and entertain any questions that you may have. Thank you all for coming.